I had hoped that this was a, this was a joke. I still hope this is a joke. I fear it's not a joke. Gwyneth Paltrow, if you don't know who she is, she's a really bad actress who kind of, you know, wrote off her mom's pseudo fame. And, you know, she dated Brad Pitt once. Apparently that's a lot of chicks fame uh, claim to fame. Jennifer Aniston, you know, Angelina Jolie. They're, I mean, they're known for acting too, but they're always known for dating Brad Pitt. You know, they could be in like the best movie ever, won eight Oscars, and they'd be like, oh, you know, you know, yeah, they won eight Oscars, and uh, Jennifer Aniston cured the blind and the deaf, but she dated Brad Pitt. Did you know that? Yeah, they broke up. Yeah, Angelina took him away. Gwyneth Paltrow was another one back in the 90s who did that. She's an insufferable narcissist who is not that pretty. Let's just put it out there. She makes this uh, line of like beauty products and I, I think like life products because you know celebrities know so much more than you do they're just better they exist at, they shit rainbow syrup every day i don't even know what rainbow syrup is but they shit it they shit it and they just pee cotton candy they don't even pee like we do they just literally pee cotton candy you could put it on like a little cone and just eat it all day long because they're just that great and wonderful and when they sneeze gold sprinkles go everywhere so um Gwyneth Paltrow has this line of bullshit called goop it should be called you know what i would call it crap or just god awful pieces of shit. You know, it's like skincare and like I, I think like hair care and all that. And you know, because you know, it, it, as long as it's like you know one thousand, two thousand dollars per bottle, and it's probably like this small too, like her husband's dick. Anyway, is she even married? I have no idea. But um, hold on. Oh, Jay was parched. So anyway, she she's one of those who sells like these things for like a thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars. You know, says you need it and all this shit. It's ridiculously priced, bitch. Put it at Target and maybe somebody will buy it. Well, actually, nobody's going to buy it. Nobody, let me tell you, Gwyneth Paltrow, let me say something real fast before we get into the, you know, the meat of the deal over here. Um, no one gives a fuck about you. You are not that famous. You are not that popular. I don't know how you got to be that famous. She's one of those who's like cling to fame. Like, I don't really know what she's done lately. I don't know what epic role she ever did that was like, oh my God, how did she like transform? She's played a whiny bitch in every movie she's ever been in. Just whiny, whiny and disinterested, like the real Gwyneth Paltrow. So Gwyneth Paltrow now, and again, I've looked this up. Apparently it's true, is selling, I believe it's a candle that smells like her vagina. So you, lucky you, hey, you're confused what to get your kid for his seventh birthday? A Gwyneth Paltrow vagina candle. Yeah, she is selling. How narcissistic can you be? Like how fucking, like how fucking great do you think you have to be? That would be like, you know, hey, guys, I got a, I got something, a major announcement. I am selling bottled J farts. I am. You could give it to your dying mother in hospice. You could give it to a cancer kid. You could, It's going to lighten up their day. Just unscrew it, and I, I will actually custom make my farts. If you want me to have a chili fart, I will ingest lots of chili, fart, it in, fart into a cup, bottle it for you, make sure none of them gets out. We'll have little Asian girls who are, you know, being beaten because they don't make enough Nikes in fucking China. Do it. Help me out once we really get rolling on Kickstarter. But like, do you want like a vegan fart? I'll eat some vegan bullshit food, like vegan turkey or something, and I'll fart into a cup for you, seal it, you'll get my vegan fart. What the fuck? Who wants to smell her vagina? Now, what's it going to smell like? I think it's just going to smell like a, I, does a glacier smell? Because you know she's frigid. She's frigid. She, there's no way anybody's ever said Gwyneth Paltrow is fun in bed. There's no way. Like, man, I had Gwyneth Paltrow last night. She was like, she was on me. She was spinning around on my Johnson and all that. Then she just jumped off my Johnson, landed on my face, wiggled around, then contorted her whole body. So while she's on my face, I could like grab her boobs at the same time. And somehow her tongue came all the way out and wrapped around my ear and then went right in my anus and started tickling that. She's wild. Then she said, let me be a nasty schoolgirl who eats mashed potatoes and you come up from me from behind and just put my face in the potatoes and violently have sex with me from behind. Yeah, and then just slap me and put mustard all over my ass crack and just kind of play with it at first and then just start punching it. Like, I, she's never going to be a good time in bed, ever. Okay, man, that's not a good time in bed to a lot of people, but hey, I am. don't you fucking judge me. But seriously, nobody's ever said that. Who want her, her candle? It smells like her vagina. So it smells like, you know, a Shanghai fish market then, right? If she's that vegan and on natural, is it, let me tell you about these bitches and guys too that are vegan and natural and wear the natural deodorant shit. You stink. You fucking stink. You And you have the balls to sit there and say stupid shit like, you know, I mean, your body takes some time to get off, you know, natural deodorant. It's got like, yeah, um, it's got like tin particles in it, but I feel better and I know I don't smell. Yes, you do. Ask the people who are passing out next to you. You stink. You stink like a fucking dog. Dogs smell better than you. Wet dogs that just run in from a fucking, you know, 
a hurricane who haven't been bathed or properly groomed in two years smell better than your fucking hippie ass with your bullshit deodorant and your sometimes I, I knew a girl who did this once I just used a little bit of talcum powder bitch invest in a vat of the whole shit because that's what you need to stop stinking you can, you might as well fucking it's useless you might as well use you know uh, vanilla frosting as fucking deodorant because it's not doing a damn bit of good actually vanilla frosting might kick up your armpit glands you know fucking <laughs> sweat glands and maybe will make you smell better maybe people want to lick your armpits randomly Okay, but th this bitch we, uh, fucking selling a candle that smells like her vagina. Who's fucking... First of all, who's ever saying that, like, you know what I need? I need a scented candle. Okay, Topaz. Mm, ooh, Ocean Breeze. Gwyneth Paltrow's twat. Yeah, that's what we... Gwyneth Paltrow's nasty, disgusting twat. First of all, it's got to be super tight because nobody's ever used it. I guarantee right now, she's never had a real good time in there. And, you know, Brad Pitt, good looking and all, but just guessing. You know, just got a wild hunch that it's... It's not, he's not one of those good looking guys who's been blessed with everything. He's not like a Chris Hemsworth, you know, sexy monkey's crush or something like that. He's probably got a log down there and shit like that and is good looking, therefore should die because I'm just jealous. But, but this chick, the, look at her pussy. What the fuck is her pussy going to smell like when it powders pussy candle? Mm, mm. It's going to smell like rich entitled bitch. I mean, maybe that's what it smells like. You know what I think when it powders vagina smells like? I'm going to guess. It's like a mixture. It's like it smells pungent, strong, yet not pleasant. Kind of like, have you ever, you know when summer starts or spring, like, you know, the really first hot day of spring and I mean, really warm, like 75, 80 degrees, a little humid, and it kicks up all that fucking stench and sweat and urine and everything else from the mean streets of Chicago, New York, or whatever. And you're finally like, oh my God, I love this weather and all that, but I forgot the summer smells. It's like summer smells. That's her vagina. She should call it summer smells because I guarantee it smells. I guarantee. Or you know what? I take that back. I'm being mean. I don't think it smells. I think it smells. I think it does smell, but it's like a hospital. You know, she's probably like really like, she strikes me as one of those crazy girls who's really OCD and just, we don't know about it yet. Like she probably scrubs all her skin off every night and cries, rocking back and forth in her, you know, fucking pool that's like actually a bathtub because it's so big. She probably like just, and she probably does the same with her vagina. She probably like, you know, scalds it with hot water and pours bleach on it. It's like, eh, I'm still dirty. Brad would have kept me if it was fucking clean. I know he would have. He would have gone to Jennifer or anybody. Ah. Fucking seriously. What, what, what's a fucking vagina candle? I want her anus candle. That's what I've always wanted. I want Angelina's Jolie's, not even fuck Gwyneth Paltrow. I want Angelina Jolie's asshole candle. Why, why can't I have that? I want to light that up in my house so people can go, what is that smell? What is that fucking smell? That kind of bitchy but kind of wrong and sexy smell. It's Angelina Jolie's asshole. Angelina Jolie's asshole. Got it right here on my counter. Yeah. Who, who first of all, who's going to order this? Who's going to actually sit down? You know stupid people are. Who's going to sit down and be like, I want Gwen Paltrow's vagina candle? Who's going to explain that one to your wife or, you know, your husband or whoever? That's immediate grounds for divorce. And immediate grounds to do a Scott Peterson and put you in the trunk of a car or row you out into the fucking middle of the ocean and never have you be heard from again because you're that stupid. You don't deserve to live if you fucking get something like this. Holy fucking God. What, if, what next? Oh, Gwyneth Puff. I'm going to do a new line of something. It's really exciting. I've developed some new nail polish. It's from my own menstrual blood. I know. Hear me out. My menstrual blood is better than everybody else's. I've actually saved it over the course of a lot of menstruation since I was 22. I've preserved it in a Swiss freezer because those are just better and I want to make it sound exotic. And I've kept it there for years and years and years. And um, top, I've had some like scents added to my, you know, uh, menstrual blood that's been collected for years. And now I've bottled it and it is perfect consistency for nail polish that will last a week. No chipping, nothing. Ladies, do you hear what I'm saying? Why not? Why not? How about, you know, I can, what if, when it's Paltrow, let me give you some ideas. How about um, a tub brush made out of your, made out of your, you know, nasty pubic hair? How about that? You know, it's really, because hers is probably like a dude's, like really hard. I mean, she didn't lotion that or anything like that. You probably could like, you know, scour a tub and like clean your fucking toilet at the same time. You know that ring you got around your toilet? Like, I'm never going to get that out. Use Gwyneth Paltrow's pubic hair scrub brush. It'll work. <laughs> it's, fucking, it's stiff as a fucking board. Like, holy shit, you could do an infomercial with that vagina candle listen okay she should actually what she should do now is just cut her vagina out and sell it this is going to get me banned from youtube i know this is going to do bad shit to me i know it is but i don't give a fuck anymore okay cut, sell out sell your real vagina people will bid on that shit maybe 
you know, if they're bored on eBay after they buy, like, Star Wars tchotchkes or, you know, a Laverne and Shirley salt and pepper shaker, you know, and they don't find have anything. I got two more bucks. Ah, what if Paltrow's vagina? Fuck it. I don't know. I'll put it on my mantle. I'll just stare at it for a while or something like that. I mean, I'm sure, it, even in the picture, the vagina itself, I never knew a vagina could look cunty and bitchy at the same time. Yeah, yeah, there's kind of got to, you know her vagina has an attitude problem just like she does. You know, just like, like squeezes on somebody's penis as soon as like, you know, like it probably cuts off the circulation. Like, oh baby, let's go to bed tonight, Brad Pitt. He's like, okay. Like, you know, gets his two-incher in her and all that. It just like kind of locks on him. Like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's just, it's just me, I'm sorry. Tell me you deserve it. Tell me you deserve it. Tell me how great I am. Tell me I'm better than anything. Tell me this is the best vagina you've ever had. You better tell me. I swear to God, it'll cut off the circulation. You're going to die in like five seconds. Tell me. Fucking, she looks like a fucking manatee. I can't stand that chick. Fucking plain looking bitch. Where's some, where's some, what about a goop? Goop makeup on your face, hooker. Do that. Goop some makeup on your face. Stop looking like you fucking just woke up out of a fucking autopsy or some shit like that. I gotta stop. I'm getting too mean and too too riled up and too foul for YouTube. So, uh, oh, by the way, Copa or whatever, you know, Francis Ford Copa, whatever this is from YouTube. This isn't made for kids, all right? Brandon, go to bed. I'm not talking to you, 13 year old who watched me. Go to bed. Do your homework. You're not supposed to be watching this. I disapprove. <sighs> yeah, I'm a little, I'm a little wired. Can you tell? What if Paltrow's vagina candle? I'm gonna go buy one right now. Yeah, I just want to smell stinky Shanghai tuna fish that's been left in a fucking trunk of a car in Arizona summer for about two years with a jar of mayonnaise spread on top of it and maggots festering. I just want that kind of scent in my life. Yeah, fuck. 